Um. It's time to re-legalize it. Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty, hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Uh. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. The one that tipped me over the edge. I hate clowns. How many fucking clowns can you fit in the van? This is a joke with no punchline. Shows. You think I'm scared of me? Slide. Too soon. Head spin, not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said.
Trevor is a... The Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor uh, is a good guy. He cracked family and got kid and he's going. That, 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 that's it, right, yes. Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? Was there Mr. Raspberry Jam? Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, wow. show me. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got and get the dispatch! Just about to start. Here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. This don't make me comfortable. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here and almost big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? Now this is restricted airspace. Now, they won't let anything out of here without clearance. Or shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a board that's stretched to 50 feet. Now what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45 foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you carry in something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Merriam Turner overpass. Well, I just said they have the water surface real number. Okay. Man, it's a free ride soldier belt. What do you think they got on? We just ignore them. We ain't get to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Thor's got on the wrong side of some Merriweather guys. You, you, we need two guys on the handler. Couple containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. If I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just a cousin Wade's on his own. You better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. Please, just don't. It's those containers. Baby, I'm going to lose my job. Clamp it on now. That's it. Now we got to bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm behind the kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. 
there's the cranes, but... Great! Perfect! Oh, shoot! They're so on to us! Okay, it's up to the top of the crane for me. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. First up, position the cabin over a container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. It's hooked up. So lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. We ain't there yet. That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Get back down to the other end. red container at the end. You're done. Break time. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy.
Remember, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! We can use the big rig. English. Uh, must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He yes. said, he said, no, here. You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me. I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. <coughs> oh, it's a, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <coughs> you, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's oh, a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now. <laughs> and there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? <laughs> offshore. Deep sea adventure, gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right, and you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. 
You damaged Deborah. Uh, look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide? Huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Be here. I go tell the boss. Come on, get in the hot tub with me. I'm bored. I think that pill you gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like two. Hey, who the fuck are you? Yo, what do you think you're doing here, man? This is private property. Just pretend I'm not here, kids. Yeah, he's crazy. I'm calling the cops. What you need to understand about our production company is that... Ah! Wait ah! a second. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Is that it, Mrs. Thornhill? I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Cheap. Hey, Gary, can I pet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, get away from me, you crackhead! I warn you, no one gets to be right louder than me! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy, turn on doggy! Be good today! Gotcha, you little bastard! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a bad shit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. You know that guy from Midget Fuckers 22, I know it. 
jock! Celebrity news flash! Maniac steals collar from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. I bet I could hit your G shot every time. You guys were. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. Ah! 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 Dispatch to units in Vinewood. We have reports of an assault on a celebrity at Tequila Laws. Back up and medical assistance required. Fucking move! I'm sorry, my little motor vehicle is done here. Roger. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo.